this year's award is, is really um, uh, pioneering in, in this area. The recipients of this year's Crawford Prize, Peter K. Gregerson, Lars Kloreskog, and Robert J. Winchester, are being awarded the prize because their research has increased the possibility to understand and predict susceptibility to rheumatoid arthritis. Thanks to this, it will be easier to make an individual diagnosis at an early stage and find effective treatment. Rheumatoid arthritis is in fact an attack on the joints by the body's own immune system. The immune system, of course, its, its major function is to protect us against microbes, against different toxic substances that are, are not supposed to be present in the body. And the immune system does so exquisitely. The side effect or the immune system can also go astray a bit. It can misread its purpose and start to attack uh, our own tissues. This is what we call autoimmunity, auto self and immunity directed against our own body. And rheumatoid arthritis is an example of a disease where, where we start attacking our own tissues, the joints and, and other parts of the body. I woke up one morning and, um, and realized I couldn't walk because my feet hurt, uh, it hurt so much. Um, but I had been out dancing all night, so I thought, oh, I had so much fun, I've been dancing all night, so of course it hurts, but um, it went on and on, it get, got worse, and uh, I, I started to get pain in, in other joints, than my feet, my hands and my neck, and almost everywhere. Um, so I think it took about six months uh, from the first day and until I, I went to the hospital with all my joints uh, inflamed. And this year's prize is about the interaction between genetic and environmental factors. In the group of patients with what is known as seropositive rheumatoid arthritis, you can clearly see this when you look at the interplay of risk genes and smoking. Uh, the, the, the pioneering and groundbreaking uh, observations of this year's laureates is that um, there are common themes in the molecules controlling uh, this immune response, the autoimmune response. These are so-called HLA-DR molecules, and they can be altered genetically so that uh, the immune system sees uh, motifs as foreign, even though they're made by the body itself. And what Gregerson and, and Winchester realized using special antibodies that they had developed was that there is a pocket in these molecules, a pocket that is um, altered. They, they used a, a metaphor, the, the Cinderella slipper, the slipper of Cinderella, uh, a, a pocket that can be altered by many different genetic changes. And so they, they provided the field with a common theme for why people with different genetic variants actually can respond in a similar way and can develop uh, rheumatoid arthritis as a, as a result. But they do not explain what is, which foot is fitting into the slipper of Cinderella. So the work of Clara Skog is, is developing the side of actually identifying the foot fitting into the slipper. And this is where smokers uh, in, in their studies have been shown to be especially susceptible. They did a very broad screen. And this is when they realized that susceptibility correlated with smoking. Uh, if you have no genetic predisposition and you're not smoking, the risk is very low. If you have a, a single gene and you're a smoker, the risk is a, about fivefold higher. And if you have multiple genes, the risk is about 15-fold higher. So there is a dose-dependent relationship with smoking and with genetic change. I think life as a scientist is, is fantastic uh, because it allows you to explore uh, the unknown, if you're lucky, and 
to improve uh, life for, for people in terms of generating new understanding for mechanisms of disease or, or new, new medicines. Oh, for me it's, it's, uh, it's my hope for, for good life, of course. The first 10 years of my um, disease, I was so bad I couldn't, uh, I couldn't take care of myself. Uh, I had big problems taking care of my kids, they were so small. Um, and then I got a new, med a new medicine, a new biological medicine. And everything changed within, I think, two months. I got my life back, so uh, for me, uh, the research is everything. <laughs>